What's up, studs and chats? Today we have six stories at our hands. We got news about the Black Ops Zombies leaks. We're hearing about six maps, Zombie Chronicles 2, I guess. It's time to put your kids to bed, hide your wives. And Microsoft has also filed a new patent that is some scary news. We're, we're gonna be talking about all of that. We got six stories at our hands, so let's go for maybe six likes on the video. I think you can do it, but coming in at number six, the homie commander Josh added me in the situation here and the news. I mean, look at that, guys. Microsoft gets the green light on a new patent, allowing the company to revive people who are sent to heaven. Obviously, I won't be able to say certain words on YouTube like that. They will be able to revive people by turning their digital and real life footprints into AI chatbots. Now dog, listen here, I'm gonna be opening up your third eye and you're gonna be able to see way past a lot of people out there. You're gonna be seeing a lot of things in the sky right now. We're gonna be opening up your third eye. But here's the thing, I did hear about the story the other day and I was like, hey, uh, this is probably cap. If it's true, Microsoft has just filed a pet and it's uh, simply not gonna happen. But today they got the green light. They got the <laughs> green light and the article says this, according to the patent, which was filed on December 1st, 2020, the tech allows Microsoft to cull images, voice data, social media posts, electronic messages, and more personal information to create a digital profile of someone to build a chatbot of them, while the most obvious application is to make a chatbot using the personal information of people who are sent to heaven. The patent notes that it could also correspond to a past or present entity or a version thereof, such as a friend, a relative, an acquaintance, a celebrity, a fictional character, a historical figure, a random entity, etc. The patent goes on to say that living users could train a digital replacement in the event of uh, whenever they get a signal that they're gonna be sent to heaven. Should it come to fruition, Microsoft will basically allow people to live forever in cyberspace. Seriously, get the F out. Do not do this to me. Do not do it to the homies. But seriously, I know that you like free apps, right? And here, I'm gonna open up your third app. I think you deserve to be enlightened real quick, my G. The situation here is that our people, when they see something for free, they're like, hey, it's free, it's for me, right? They, they run, they run over people, just trying to get Get some free stuff i totally understand when you see a price tag that says free because you never seen that before right like normally it costs money so whenever you see something for free you you just want to get it they are free for a reason they're stealing your data do you think they view you as a chad master like i i'm telling you dog if you ever get caught doing helicopters with your willy in the future well you know what let's say 20 years down the line you're looking to get a job you go to a company by the name of bob's donkey or something like that right you give them your summary your resume and all that and the boss will look at you and be like, hey, wasn't this you 20 years ago that was caught doing helicopters with Joe Willie? These social media companies will know whether it was small or big, okay? And they were gonna be sharing that with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those social medias and whatever we get in the future, right? Microsoft will be using all that information to create a chatbot of you. And if you did get caught with your pants down, my G, well, that chatbot is continuously gonna be showing those images and whatnot. I mean, seriously, we're living in end times. The, the, the Martians are here. Lock yourselves in the basement, but coming in at number five, the homie look added me in the situation and look at how beautiful this PS5 is looking like. <laughs> Imagine coming home to find your PlayStation 5 like this thanks to your children posted in Facebook PlayStation group and the sauce around the streets is absolutely unreal the homie said hey it looks better then don't buy a ps5 and leave it where your kids can touch it duh as one man once said F them kids. At number four, we're hearing that Ghost of Tsushima 2 seemingly confirmed by Sucker Punch Cinematic Creative Director. This is something that we all did see coming. Dave Moley, who's the Cinematic Creative Director for Sucker Punch Productions, has seemingly confirmed that Ghost of Tsushima 2 is indeed in the works as Sony-owned studio. The game had previously been outed via a series of job listings at the company, and Molly's biography simply states, quote, presently working on the Ghost of Tsushima game for Sony PS5, and the article says, unless this is a PS5 version of the original Ghost of Tsushima, which is unlikely as the game was updated for Sony's new console. This is definitely the sequel, to be fair. A follow-up was always on the cards given the success of the first game. Is that Chad Master like you want to see that? Let me know in the comments. But coming in at number three. Now, this is something that actually went down last night, and this is about the upcoming zombie maps. First up, I want to say shout out to Eddie Source, Nanikos, and even Call of Duty Perseus Twitter account. And I want to go through this leak like tick, 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 because the sauce is absolutely unreal. We're hearing that there looks like that we should be getting two remakes of old zombie maps in Black Ops. This leak also claims that we're gonna be getting six maps coming, one per season, three maps will be free, and three maps are gonna be in Battle Pass. He says that he's not sure what maps will be there, he's not 100% because obviously this is an early leak, this could be changed. At the end of the day, we're talking about Kuta Salapain, the Laura Activision, so obviously they're, they're gonna be doing stuff like that, and really, 
I'm not really PO'd, I'm not really mad or anything like that. If they're really gonna put out like three maps for free and three maps in the battle pass, obviously I haven't been buying any battle passes as of late because number one, hey, that supports the non-skill based matchmaking movement, like duh. And secondly, the battle pass has got no sauce, at least in my opinion. So I personally do not find it worth it. But if they're really gonna have a zombie map, I mean, watch the people, okay? They're gonna be buying the battle pass like no tomorrow. And I think this is how Activision is gonna defeat the non skill based matchmaking movement and really man i want to know what your chat master mind thinks are you gonna resist and not buy the battle passes or you're gonna be like hey you're activision take, take my money he also claims that season two battle pass will have zombies content aka the samantha operator so the battle pass will have samantha obviously like activision they're after the moolah man the leaker also says that the firebase z zombies map will be split looks like that there will be like two different portions of the map and this kind of takes me back to the glory days of black ops 2 zombies like remember when we got like transit zombies people did hate the map but on top of that track did cut the sections of the map like tick, 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 and we did end up getting town and people love town i love town you probably love town really i think that we need this i really hope we got big maps and they cut them into like different sections and this is a really good start at number two the homie ahmed actually added me in the situation and a massive shout out to this man okay because we're talking about nanikos and he did end up deleting all of this information because he's kind of sus about the information. He says, I'm not sure whether this is legit or not. Now, for sure here, do not get hit in your G-spot, okay? This might be cab, this might be facts, we're not sure. Apparently, there's a map called More Their Totem. It's gonna be set in East Berlin in the 80s. It got huge outside streets paired with tiny spaces on the inside of the various buildings. It got features, chunks of both Kino Their Totem and Virak from old Call of Duty zombie games. This reminds me of that zombie map that the homie Gaming Revolution League before we even had black ops he did say that we're gonna be having a kino their totem remix so it kind of sounds like that and the second map is called spusk stally this is the descent of steel it is gonna be set in a glacier on the base of a huge snowy mountain the map goes all the way from the russian facility at the top of the mountain to the frozen caverns that run inside it the leak also said that we're originally going to be getting only four maps because activision saw how unsuccessful black ops 4 zombie was and they saw black ops 2020 zombie success and they're like okay let's actually give people six maps and apparently three maps are gonna be free three maps are gonna be tied to the battle pass and and those three other maps in the battle pass are gonna be transit buried die rise remade from the ground up if this leak is true that means that we're gonna be getting three new maps for free and the the following three maps are gonna be put into battle passes maybe like first remake map is gonna be transit that's gonna be like in season three then season five we get a new map and then season six we get another remastered they will be selling those remakes in battle passes and i think a lot of people would be giving up on that uh, non-skill based matchmaking train hey man i'm here okay we're not gonna give up on that we're gonna continuously keep the pressure on even if we have to buy the battle passes okay do not forget your roots here uh -uh, okay we gotta keep fighting and maybe one day they will get rid of skill based matchmaking but before we get into number one hey turn those notifications on as these two ladies once said what are you waiting for subscribe don't do it for me do it for them okay but coming in at number one we're hearing that a Harry Potter TV series is reportedly in early development at HBO Max. And IGN says that a report by Variety says that sources have indicated plans for a show that are moving ahead, although no talent director or writers have been attached. And HBO Max and Warner Bros. have told THR that there are no Harry Potter series in development at the studio or on the streaming platform. But IGN says that this could, however, be a different definition of in development, with early discussions reportedly ongoing. The companies may not yet define that project as formally in development moral of the story don't get hit in the g-spot but share your expertise check out our video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there